and one without. I want you to taste both and give me your expert opinion. He is so cute. I like it, I like it, girl. I like it. Keep on like it, girl. I like it. So cute. Very cute. Yes, so we start from the beginning of the street. Let's go see what it is all about. No, it's not a bad. It's amazing. In the middle it's of like, your streets. It's like the street never stops partying. And I'm glad to be part of it. You know what's our plan? Is to travel like a local today. Today we will meet some interesting people and see how a typical day in Hanoi pans out. Look, look at this cute lady across the street. She's hiding something in her left hand and I was really curious to find out what. So I went across the street to talk to her and take a picture with her. Guess what I found? She was hiding a bottle of wine. <laughs> so when I told her I wanted a picture with her, she actually went to keep the bottle of wine uh, and hide it. But then we told her uh, we need a picture of her with the wine. So I guess the Vietnamese really enjoy their wine and any time of the day. Our first ATM withdrawal. So they could pre munshi ban gaye or paise gin rahe just to check that ki pura paisa barabar hai ki nahi. This is called paisa vasool from the ATM. यहाँ पर ना सुबह सुबह लोग पेट पूजा में लग जाते हैं लगता है सब जगह खाना देख के प्री को भी भूख लगी है Normally, जगों में लोग breakfast करीब 9:30 खाना शुरू करते हैं, but Vietnam में सुबह सुबह लोग खाने में लग जाते हैं. And if you can see, there's a mixture there of uh, Vietnamese and vegetarian food. But मुझे veg में सिर्फ French fries और onion rings ही दिख रहे हैं. <laughs> so the early morning scene in Hanoi is extremely vibrant. Bustling with life, there are shopkeepers setting up their sho uh, shops, uh, looking at their particular stalls where they can actually place it. People going about their jobs, uh, people entering restaurants to eat food, and normally people here uh, have little stools on the sidewalk. If you want to watch these beautiful places, you can visit our uh, episode on Hanoi Top Five. We'll put the link in the description. Buy everything here. The hotel where we were staying, the Hanoi Boutique Hotel, had such fabulous reviews written on the wall. हमे भी इतनी अच्छी लगी तो हमने भी अपना review डाल दिया wall पे. So Sherry, do you know where we are going today? So we all are ready after a yummy breakfast and. Let's go meet the receptionist and uh, 
figure out where we want to go what we want to see what we want to do i'm waiting for it so pre vietnam is supposed to be a place for foodies how do you enjoy the breakfast spread at the hotel today what i like about this breakfast spread is that the fruits are fresh right and uh, you have the best of the continental and also the vietnamese cuisine is also here there's a lot of stuff for vegetarians as well as non vegetarians and we have the beautiful kim with us is can you tell us the places we can go to nearby within 1 hour uh, distance which talks about culture history of vietnam yes. thank you so much yes. thank you so nice what's your name ryan ryan oh okay yeah you said chapal yeah yeah, yeah. mr chapal oh that's nice so when when did you come uh, come here to uh, vietnam Two weeks. Oh, what have you what have you been doing in two weeks? Baba. Okay. Okay. How are all these islands nice? Nice places to go to. Because. Baba, maybe not so good. Yeah, along is good. Yeah. Yeah, we we've, we've come from Bangalore. हमने वियतनाम के कॉफ़ी के बारे में बहुत सुना तो फिर हमने सोचा चलो लेट्स ऑल्सो गो एंड ट्राई सम लेट्स सी हाउ दे कम्पीट विद अवर साउथ इंडियन कॉफ़ी आई थिंक वी गॉट गो फर्दर अप I don't think we can sit out. शाम का माहौल और इतना खूबसूरत नज़ारा कॉफी शॉप के विंडो से मुझे दिख रहे थे दैट द गर्ल्स वे ड्रेस सो फैशनेबली सो देन वी थॉट कि हम लोग कॉफ़ी पी के बस उन्हें देखने जाते हैं Bree, uh, there are uh, two coffees we ordered, one with milk and one without. I want you to taste both and give me your expert opinion. The black coffee first. So there's some milk in this. Okay. So this no, that's one. just foam, espresso. It just tastes like typical strong black coffee, but it's a good flavor. Yeah. Okay now can we have you taste the other one that's with milk No please very good at giving reviews about coffee Oh This is not my cup of coffee <laughs> This coffee is so strong and how uh, it's like you take a lot of cup syrups mix them up heat it reduce the sugar level and then so i think this is one uh, uh, kind of coffee which probably our tongue is not able to relate to but nonetheless coffee people come here to basically chill and also some of them come here and start walking <laughs> hey So this is a place we had the coffee, Vivian's Cafe. Hi. Okay, my whole name. Oh wow.
He is so cute. Look at him. So cute. So cute. What's his name? What's his name? Lou. Oh. Bye bye. Bye, Lou. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Hanoi looks like the fashion capital of Vietnam. Look at this young mother with knee-high boots. Oh my god. Beautiful. I like it. I like it, girl. I like it. Keep on like it, girl. I like it. I like it. The cathedral area looks like a favorite spot for fashion too. I like it, girl. I like it. Keep on like it, girl. I like it. I like it, girl. I like it. Like Italians have something called Godfather, I think Vietnamese have Godmother. We got to know there's a coffee shop and there are primarily women there. After a short drive through the city, like we reached the I Maison like Central. I'm sitting outside the jail. I definitely don't want to go in. Each coffee shop in Vietnam is beautiful, intricately designed and every shop is different. We just love even looking at them. They Looks like we've happy. come to the Kaban Park of Hanoi. <laughs> Kaban Park of Hanoi, please so rightly said. You find so many women cycling uh, on two wheelers. But see, the traffic is exactly, I feel at home when I look at this traffic. Yeah, it makes the traffic feel at home. Just look at the pavements. They're really nice, well maintained. Half is green and half is a place to walk. Now we're actually feeling at home. We feel like it's Bangalore because of the traffic. And so many girls on two wheelers. Many little lesson. Our next place to visit had uh, tremendous historical significance. And to reach there, we traveled through the diplomatic embassy area where the houses were majestic. Amazing coffee shop, we it's like drinking coffee in style. Vietnam sure has so many coffee cafes. What a beautiful place! Okay, let me try to read that. Nua Kong Hoi Za Hoi Chu Gia Vietnam Moon Nam. You know what this sounds like? You remember that uh, the movie? Uh, which was that movie we liked? Uh, the Egyptian movie? Uh, the Mummy. Hmm. The, in that, they, they talk like this. Nua Kong Hoi. 
So the people of Vietnam are so proud of what they've really achieved that the entrance to this is absolutely free uh, because you can walk in and see the majestic museum and the mausoleum which has been constructed to celebrate their freedom. Just like any flag, it deserves a salute. We salute the flag and uh, let me show you the flag mounted on a very high pole almost touching the sky. It seems never ending. There you go. The flag flying proud. Got you. <laughs> Can I take a picture with you? Yeah. So cute. Very cute. And look, we have an officer of the Vietnamese patrol guard dressed all in white, white, red and gold. So we are on our way to see the Temple of Literature and this is technically our last place to visit for the day. And then we've got huge plans for the night. So, yeah. Oh, we really... I heard the nightlife of Hanoi is really awesome. Yes, it is. I am looking forward to go. So am I. And I heard there's like a beer junction wherein you get all kinds of beer there. So, yes. The night is going to be wild. Ooh. I think it looks lovely. And again, all over scattered are these little lanterns which I think when lit up would look beautiful. I think there's some ritual of some kind going on. The ritual. Looks like a counseling session to me. <laughs> no, I think it's an appointment for some therapy. This is a beautiful place. Does it remind you of Alsur Lake? <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Yes, a little. Minus the lanterns and the huge lotus. Oh, you can go around in circle. There are a lot of shops. Your red theme matches with the yeah, no. theme of the city. Looks like I choreographed my outfits to Vietnam. We even bought red scarf, both of us. Let's wear it in oh, the evening. You're going to reveal that? Yes, okay. in the evening. Next. We bought two beautiful scarves for the two of us. And uh, they're matching. We match a lot, Napri. Of course. This temple, by the way, was built in 1070 and dedicated to Confucius and his disciples. Did you know that? 
it's also dedicated to the scholars and the sages of Vietnam. True temple of learning. Crossing the road in Vietnam is one of the most amazing experiences <laughs> because they're so good you will never get hit. You can keep walking when the traffic is just moving at full speed. Guys, can you see the traffic, how wild it is? Now, just wait. Luckily, we got a gap. Otherwise, just like <coughs> butterflies or birds. Oh, now the traffic is up Oh, God. You will still cross. Not to worry, Kenny. How do we even cross? <laughs> How did you get the idea of sand? You learned from somebody. Uh, I learned to uh, learn from uh, to play. Okay, oh, okay. Final coffee after waiting for 10 minutes, waiting for the deep sand. We get this lovely coffee, uh, which Priya and I are going to enjoy. We love coffee. Just. Yeah. Excited to see a celebrity sitting in the table right next to us. We couldn't figure out who he was, so if any of you know this information, kindly write it in the comment section. This big guy dressed all in red lifted up that young boy as if he as if he did nothing. From the cheapest seats while I shake hands, TBD. TBD. We found it so funny the way that guy in black was touching his stomach, was touching his head, was touching his biceps. It was really weird. There was a guy dressed as a jester too. He had this whole circle of people with him. Looks like his followers or his entourage. We 
found food being served in a very unique way. So in a skillet with butter, they put pre-marinated meat, fish, shellfish, fruits, vegetables. It has coals burning below and they just kind of mesh everything and you can heat it to your temperature and eat it the way you want, medium, rare, any of those and people will be enjoying it. that even we got a chance to take a selfie with him. But we what an experience walking through the uh, the beer street. Crazy people eating, laughing as if you know they're living the last moment on earth. We saw a plethora of seafood and the lobsters look scary. It was just as if they would just jump off the plate. They look like aliens with little tentacles which are probably antennas. 